Propofol. Propofol is the most commonly used intravenous agent for induction of anaesthesia. It's a phenyl derivative, which means it's a chemical compound consisting of one or more hydroxyl groups bound directly to an aromatic hydrocarbon. It's used for induction and maintenance of anaesthesia and sedation. It's presented as a 1 or 2% protofol formulated oil water emulsion containing multiple additives, glycerol and soybean oil, which acts as an emulsion to increase solubility, egg phosphatite increases stabilisation, benzyl alcohol reduces organism growth, sodium hydroxide and finally water for injection. It works by increasing GABA-E activity and the doses used are variable. Pediatric doses 3 to 5 mg per kilogram as a bolus, adult doses 1.5 to 2.5 mg per kilogram as a bolus. Doses may vary. The onset is fast, less than 60 seconds, and the systemic effects are broad. Respiratory, it suppresses laryngeal reflexes, reduces tidal volumes and respiratory rate leading to apnea. Cardiovascular, reduces SVR. CNS, reduces CPP, CMRO2, cerebral blood flow, may lead to anaesthesia, anticonvulsant effects, and also antiemetic effects. GU, reduces urine output, secondary to reduced renal blood flow and increased ADH release. It's given by the IV route. It exists extensively protein bound with a volume distribution of four liters. PK of 11, so it's almost entirely unionized and the offset is due to redistribution. It's 99% hepatic metabolized, mainly via conjugation with the glucuronide conjugate. And it's 90% urine excretion, with an eliminated half-life of 20 hours. Special conditions include PRIS. Please like and subscribe. Propofol-related infusion syndrome is a potentially fatal condition caused by prolonged exposure to propofol, which leads to uncoupling of oxidant and phosphorylation leading to skeletal and cardiac tissue damage. As a result, this results in rhabdomyolysis leading to hyperkalemia and metabolic acidosis leading to arrhythmias and weakness, and even cardiac failure. The risk factors, young patients less than 18 years, low stores of carbohydrates, prolonged exposure of protofol, use of vasopressors, steroids and severe disease. Management is mainly supportive and stopping protofol. Prevention, use short durations of protofol if clinically indicated, maintain carbohydrate intake, avoid in paediatric populations and use a dose of less than 4 milligrams per kilogram per hour.